Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you a brand new affordable prefab that's just about to hit the market. I'm gonna say it, the ongoing affordability crisis might be the best thing to happen to the small footprint prefab market because companies are realizing there's demand for more options and they're delivering. The latest to throw their hat in the ring is a company called Roombus with their smart home, The Nest. It feels like we're right in the middle of a boom in the space and companies are trying to find the perfect mix of look, price and technology that will get customers attention and keep it while they scale up production. Here's the thing, the demand for housing isn't going to stay at the level it is right now forever, so getting attention is the first step and delivering a high quality home is the second because when things slow down, the herd will likely get thinned out. Not all these companies are gonna make it. For Roombas, it's too early to know anything about the quality, but they certainly have my attention with their high-tech features and bright exteriors. I'm excited about Roombas. Not only are they offering new features, but they're offering new ways to access their homes that's an industry first. What I'm gonna do is tell you who's behind Roombas, show you their lineup of prefabs, and talk about some of their available smart features. So let's do it. On the Roombas website, there isn't a heck of a lot of background information offered about who they are or what they're about. The website itself is great. It's one of the cleanest, easy to use sites in the space and displays their homes very well. I just wanted more of the W's, mainly who, where, and why. After a quick search, I found all the information I was looking for on a WeFunder profile that was apparently last funded in April of 2021. The team is led by CEO, and I'm gonna apologize in advance for my pronunciation on this, Dami Jagetti, who is a software engineer with 18 years experience. Dami was the founder of Swipe, which apparently processes over $4 billion annually. Pretty impressive stuff. As the founder of this YouTube channel, I can relate. I can't. They appear to be located in Los Angeles, California, which is great news for all the people who always comment asking about affordable options for Californians. The most important piece of information I was looking for though was their why. What's their reasoning for starting Roombus? The WeFunder profile says, Housing is amongst the most basic of human needs, and yet it's becoming increasingly elusive, even in wealthy countries like the US. Technology has changed every sector, leaving construction as the last industry prime for revolution. We care because escalating costs of rent and home ownership is becoming unsustainable for the working middle class. So what they did was create what they're describing as an affordable home that's both elegant and functional, light on the environment, built tough to survive natural disasters, and promotes health and happiness for everyday living. It all sounds great, but if the homes are duds, none of it matters. So let's check them out. The Roombas Nest is being described by them as a high quality, eco-friendly, modular smart house that is affordable for everyone. It comes in three different sizes and six different colors starting at 240 square feet and going up to 480 square feet. The smallest of the three homes is the Pico starting at $59,000, but other than the price of the home, we aren't given much information about what's all included. They mention on the website that there are no kitchen, no bathroom models, and to be perfectly honest with you, I can't figure out if the Pico has a kitchen and bathroom or not. I want to say that it probably has both, but I can't say that with 100% certainty because I wasn't able to find a floor plan for the Pico on their website or any of their socials, so let's move on to the next size. The mid-size nest is the Nano, which is 12 feet wide by 28 feet long for 336 square feet and has a base price of $69,000 gonna leave that alone. The Nano is a studio and does indeed come with both kitchen and bathroom, so they aren't making us guess on that one. The largest of the three options is the Solo, which is a one bedroom, one bathroom that's 12 feet wide by 40 feet long for a total footprint of 480 square feet. The base price for the Solo is $89,000 for the Type A model, which has the kitchen in the living room, or $92,000 for the Type B, which has a separate kitchen zone. At first, I thought I liked the kitchen in the Type B with the separate kitchen zone, but then I noticed the bathroom door was off the living room, which even though isn't really that far away, still seems better off the hallway, halfway between the bedroom and the living room. Compared to some of the other prefabs on the market, Roombas does seem to be limiting interior pictures and videos. Could be that they're still finalizing finishes and don't want to set expectations until they settle on a final product. However, they are very open with some of the cool features available in their homes. 
Roombus is introducing features that I haven't seen from any other North American prefab manufacturer. The one I'm most excited about is Light. Light is an inverter and battery system that lets you live off the grid all year or store power for backup, not only to power the Nest, but it can also provide power to other homes if it's being used as an ADU. Last week I talked about a home that's bulletproof and today it's burglar proof. There seems to be an increased emphasis on security. Nests come with four layer windows and the external layer is tough composite, helping to prevent break-ins. The front door has Watcher, an integrated home security and alarm system that can be controlled from your phone and when engaged is resistant to 3,000 pounds. On top of that, the smart home system can be used to control a bunch of different elements on the home remotely. The owner can control the color and intensity of the lights, even having them gradually fade throughout the evening, helping you get ready for bed. The smart climate control system efficiently monitors the air over 1400 times per day to keep you comfortable. Roughly the same amount of times I check to see if anyone's liked my latest video. One of the coolest features is the smart glass where you can turn on or off to adjust the privacy in the home. I thought that was only available in TV interrogation rooms. You turn it on to let light in or off for blackout and privacy. Finally, you can tie them all together to create moods of all your favorite preferences of light, window privacy, and temperature, and turn them all on and off with one tap. I thought I was living in 2050 when I got a deadbolt with a keypad for my front door, and I can't even control it remotely. This is a whole nother level. The Roomba's Nest is jam-packed with features, but they're also introducing an industry first. One of the first things you see when you visit the Roomba's website is elegant and affordable smart house with everything built in. Buy or rent one starting at $550 per month. This is the first company manufacturing prefabs that I've seen with a rental option. I think this is a great idea because sometimes people are looking for a shorter term housing solution and they don't wanna buy, but they want something affordable. Or someone wants to buy, but they're currently paying so much in rent that it's difficult to save for a down payment. I like the rental option a lot because to my knowledge, nobody else is doing it. And if they do end up keeping the rent low, I think they'll see a lot of demand. Roombus is the latest company entering the tiny prefab market, and I think with their look and available features, they're gonna get a lot of attention from buyers. They're still a very new company, currently taking reservations for $100, but no word as to when production will actually start. I'll be following along with Roombus because renderings are great, but I wanna see what this home is actually gonna look like inside and out when they're built. This is a very exciting time to be following the tiny prefab market. MarketWatch predicts the smart home prefab industry will double in size in the next five years, which still leaves room for more companies yet. As they pop up, I will be checking them out and sharing my thoughts right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.